10 Potential Cataract Surgery Complications Complications occur in all kinds of surgery, and cataract surgery is no exception. Thankfully, the risk of sight-threatening cataract surgery complications in routine surgery is low, and it's getting better all the time. Here, we discuss the potential cataract surgery complications and their implications. Infection inside your eye. The rates of infection after cataract surgery are 1 in 2,000, have dramatically reduced over recent years due to the routine use of antibiotics injection into the eye at the end of surgery. And additionally, better sterile surgical conditions. Prompt treatment with antibiotics is essential if you are unlucky to develop an infection. Your sight can be restored quickly. A bleed at the back of the eye. A large bleed, known as a suprachoroidal hemorrhage, can rarely develop during cataract surgery. It is thought to occur in 1 in 10,000 cases. The chances of this happening are reduced if your blood pressures are not extremely high. Insertion of the wrong intraocular lens implant. This is quite uncommon and can occur as a result of surgeon error. It can occur as a result of inaccurate measurements of the eye before surgery, which is done to calculate the power of the intraocular lens implant. Thankfully, it is possible to change the wrong intraocular lens if to get the best result in a minor procedure known as a lens exchange. Persistent eye inflammation at the back of the eye. This is known as cystoid macular edema. Thankfully, it subsides in the large majority of people with time or additional anti-inflammatory eye drops. Cloudiness of the front surface of the eye, the cornea. This is known as corneal decompensation. It is becoming uncommon with better cataract surgical techniques as well as less energy-producing instrumentation used inside the eye at the time of cataract surgery. Some patients are more likely to develop this complication. If they have a coexisting condition of the cornea, such as Fuchs endothelial guttata, there are steps that your surgeon can take to reduce this complication in the susceptible few. Retinal detachment. This is an uncommon complication where the film at the back of the eye, known as the retina, can tear and peel away. It usually requires urgent surgical correction. It is more common in patients who have had a previous retinal detachment, or those who have very thin retinas, such as the very short-sighted. Posterior capsular rupture. This can occur at the time of cataract surgery, where there is a break in the back of the clear bag that normally holds your new intraocular implant. As a result, fragments of cataract can drop to the back of the eye. It can cause inflammation, blurred vision, and retinal detachment. The rates of this complication are fairly low. It is around 1 in 100, but the chances are higher in more complex cataract surgical cases. Further surgery and longer recovery times are often needed in patients with this complication. Iris prolapse. This can occasionally occur when the colored part of the iris can escape. It gets trapped in the small opening made in the cornea after cataract surgery. In the most part, it causes no long-term concerns. The usual practice to treat this complication is to undergo a further minor procedure to push it back into the eye. After that, secure the corneal wound with a microstitch. Stitches are not routinely used in cataract surgery as the wound is carefully constructed. It has a valve-like structure which self-seals. Inserting the intraocular lens upside down. This is an uncommon complication, where the intraocular lens implant is inserted the wrong way around or upside down. One option to correct this is to undergo further minor surgery to turn it the right way around. The other option is to leave it and have a slight alteration in your glasses prescription. This is because the change in power of the intraocular lens is fairly small if it is inserted the wrong way around an unstable capsular bag. Occasionally, the clear capsular bag can become loose at the time of cataract surgery and not be stable enough for the surgeon to insert the intraocular lens implant safely. If this does occur, then it can be stabilized by inserting a small plastic ring known as a capsular tension ring. The intraocular lens implant can then be inserted into the more stable capsular bag. Complications of surgery are always a concern to my patients, but with careful planning and monitoring, 
the majority of cataract surgery complications can be corrected with excellent visual results.